Welcome back. This is Defender Fabrication. My name's Scott, and this is episode 23 of Have You Seen My Tool? And on this episode, the tool that I want to show you, uh, I guess if you're a machinist, you're going to call this a scale. If you're a carpenter, you're going to call it a rule. Um, you know, I, there's probably lots of other names for it. You can't really call it a yardstick because it's 48 inches long. But the idea, uh, we, you know, I'm, I'm not, uh, I didn't select this tool. You know, normally we do a Have You Seen My Tool? Um, trying to show something that maybe you wouldn't be aware of, something you haven't seen, something that uh, maybe is used one place, but uh, I'm using it for something different and, and you know, that might help you out. Uh, the idea behind this is that th this is something that, although I use it every day, it's something that, uh, that is near and dear to my heart. This actually, uh, this belonged to my grandfather. And my grandfather, when he passed away, uh, was, you know, I don't remember exact year, but it was, you know, really, it's half my life ago. The reason, and I'm gonna insert some pictures in here of uh, some close-ups of, of uh, you know, what makes this different than just, a, you know, any other kind of a yardstick or a ruler or anything of that nature. When, when he passed away, uh, my grandmother offered for me to have something of my grandfather's uh, that I could remember him by. And it surprised her that I, I, I selected this rule. And the reason being, is that when I was a kid and I would be helping him do something and he'd say, hey, go, go into the laundry room and, and get that yardstick that's 48 inches long and uh, bring it out here. And then he'd use it and or he'd tell me, he'd say, you know, the yardstick's smarter than you are. And I'd say, you know, why is that, Grandpa? And he'd say, well, he said, do you know how to make a five-gallon bucket? And I'd say, well, no. And uh, he'd say, well, that ruler knows how to make one. And there's, uh, there's, there's uh, tables on the back, and I'm sure that the, you know, this is something, he was a sheet metal worker and a roofer, and you know, uh, today we go to the store and we get a plastic bucket. But back in the day, you know, when, probably when he first started doing sheet metal work, if you needed a bucket, then you had to go to the sheet metal shop and somebody would fabricate you a bucket, and they'd solder the seams and, and you know, you'd have you a metal bucket. And um, so th you know, this is probably not something you're gonna buy today, simply for that reason, because you know, nobody, nobody makes metal buckets anymore. It's not something you know that um, that's that um, you know is part of our modern times, but you know because my grandfather always said that it's something that uh, you know anytime I see this, anytime I use it, I will uh, I will remember him, um, and so that's why it's here in the shop and, and I use it. I don't uh, you know I don't keep it stored away somewhere. You know it makes me feel like maybe he's around a little bit. If you've got any questions, hey, leave them in the comments, or if you've got a similar story, uh, you know let let us know. I'm sure other guys watching would like to know as well. Um, if, you know, do you have uh, do you have tools like this that um, that uh, you know mean something to you more than than just the cost of the tool? Anyway, if you haven't subscribed, uh, please do so. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you on the next episode of Have You Seen My Tool? Thanks for watching.